children. How have all of you been? It's been such a long time that I have met all of you. Hello, children. I'm sure all of you are doing great. And I'm sure you are ready to praise the Lord today. So shall we go ahead and praise the Lord? Yes, Effa, I think we should go. Come on, children. Let's get out of food and start to praise the Lord. Come on, children. Let's go. Hey, everyone. Welcome to a brand new week of virtual lesson. Are you guys ready? Now, before we start, let's put our hands together and say a quick prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for having us all gathered here for this week. Lord, help us to learn as much as we can as we sing and dance to your songs and as we hear your story, Lord. Lord, I pray, Lord, Lord, help us to learn and Lord, help us to know more about you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, are you guys ready for a very fun lesson? Let's go!
Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always. Hi children, lesson for this week is about shield of faith. Let's pray. Let's close our eyes. Dear Lord, we want to thank you for this day. Thank you for the children. Bless their heart that they will learn more about you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Roman soldiers used shield to cover their whole body and also to attack or push their enemy. You and I, do we need a shield? Yes. We need a shield of faith. Faith is believing in God and trusting His word even though we can't see Him. How can we increase your faith? When we hear the story from the Bible or listen to the Bible verse, it will help to increase our faith. We will remember who God is and what He has done for us. We are reminded of how good He is and how great He is too. The more we know God, the more we will trust Him. The Bible says that faith comes by hearing the word of God. Our faith can cover us and protect us from the enemy, not because of the power within us, but because of who we put our faith in. Jesus has all power and when we put our faith in Him, He can save us from any attack. Start telling Jesus that you trust Him. So lift up your shield of faith. Continue to come to church and Sunday class. Keep reading your Bible and pray. When we spend time in prayer and reading the Bible, we are spending time with Jesus. That's the end of the story. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, help me to always trust you and to take up the shield of faith. In Jesus' name, Amen. Bye children, see you next week. Hey everybody, do you guys remember the memory verse that you learned last week? Let's go through it one more time. This week's memory verse is Ephesians 6 verse 14 to 15. Ephesians 6 verse 14 to 15. Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes with the gospel of peace. Ephesians 6 verse 14 to 15. Hey everybody, I hope you guys had a great week listening to all the songs and listening to a brand new story this week. Sadly, we've come to the end of this week's virtual lesson. But don't worry, we'll be back next week with a brand new set of songs and a whole new story just for you. Now before we go into the brand new week, shall we all put our hands together and say a quick prayer? Lord, thank you for giving us this chance to come together and to learn more about you. As we go into a brand new week, Lord, give us your wisdom and your guidance. Lord, wherever we go, give us your protection and help us, Lord, to shine for you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Now, have a great week, everybody. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye! Oh yes, sir. Far, you are right, and I'm sure the children will be looking forward to more fun activities next week too. Oh yes, I am sure. So we meet again next week, children. Bye. Bye, children. See you next week. <laughs>